Must be nice to have batteries that last more than two hours. <laughs> there we go. I didn't miss that one. You did miss? I didn't miss that one. Well, how's it going tonight? I am sitting back in the shop. You can see the new Ranger sitting behind me. It is all wrapped and gorgeous. Thank you, Image360, for doing an awesome job on the truck and the boat. Um, can't say enough good things about you guys there, and the boat just looks awesome. Um, as far as today, we were out on the Menominee River, up a tributary up on Green Bay, up in Marinette, Wisconsin. Uh, it was an awesome day with my buddy Potter. Once again, it was a gorgeous, gorgeous day. I mean, probably the nicest day we have fished so far this spring because it is, as we all know, the weather has not been so great. But uh, anyway, it was an awesome day. The fishing was fantastic. Uh, we went out there with the plans of doing a couple different things, maybe some plastics, maybe some hair jigs. Um, and the wind was just a little bit funky this morning and she was ripping pretty hard. The live bait guys were definitely catching fish. Uh, the artificials caught a few fish. Um, nothing that we thought was worthy of doing a video. Uh, so we switched back to pulling flies um, and boy it was, it was game on. It was lights out once again. Uh, and the wind died down towards the end too, so wind wasn't even a factor, but at that point we had the fly so dialed in that it just didn't pay to switch at any point today. Um, but once again, the hot colors were the same as in the other video. This red and black with a little bit of tinsel in it, I guess you want to call it, sparkle flake, whatever. Sparkle tail, all these are tied by Potter. This red and purple was really good. And then so was this purple and black. That was probably the dominant color. Um, but boy, I mean, they all caught fish. Uh, two ounce pencil weight on a three way, which we go through a little segment to and break down our setup once again. Um, you know, when you're gonna pull flies, have between one and three ounce sinkers. That'll basically cover everything that you'll need uh, for wind, depth, you know, current. Um, you know, the important thing is when you're dragging those flies, is to not have to send out a mile line. You do not want to be dragging the flies. You want to keep it at about maybe about a 45 degree angle. Um, it'll just it'll prevent a lot of snags, especially if you're in a snaggy area. Um, but boy, it's a super effective way to catch fish. For those of you that have not tried it, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, I'll put Potter's info down below and in the description on YouTube so you can order some flies from him if you've never gotten flies before. Um, his stuff is, everybody knows, is top notch, his hair jigs, his flies, his ice jigs, I mean I use it all. Um, but yeah, it was just an awesome day and we combined that. I don't have a rod in my hands, they're in the boat, uh, but that six foot medium heavy um, razor rod edge, um, I was using a Max, Potter was using an edge, medium heavy six footer. In a bait casting, um, get yourself a good bait caster reel. I've got rods specifically for pulling flies and pulling three ways just because I do so much of it in the spring. It's just a lot easier to adjust your depth by just a click of a thumb with a bait casting reel. So, anyway, enjoy the video. Me and Potter back out of the Menominee River catching some beautiful, beautiful northern Green Bay walleyes. Click on that subscribe button, helps me out a ton. Click that like button if you like the video, that helps me too. I appreciate all the support. The channel's growing a ton. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the giveaways. We're gonna be doing some more soon. Um, but other than that, until next time on the water, tight lines. Oh, there we go. Holy moly. Finally. Holy cow. Holy moly. Holy holy. Feels like a pretty good fish too. Yeah? It does. Alright. Alright, you ready for this? I'm ready for this. I don't know if I am. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow, Burnsy, you caught a fish. Right? Wouldn't go nowhere. Purple black. 
Mm, get off there. My nine foot leads. <laughs> Potter's nine foot leads. Nice fish. Thank you, girl. Camera's on. <clears throat> oh, yeah, good swearing, dude. I'm all. <laughs> Ain't terrible, bro. He is. He's actually been pretty good lately. I've been really good lately. Only took him 47 years. Right? Well, now you'll be on the video. <laughs> if there your, is a video. Your audio will be anyway. We have two nice. fish so far for this video. Someday I'll be on the video and I'm sure I'll do something crazy. It'll make everybody laugh. Right. This happens to happen. I don't know. Nice fish. <laughs> What'd you just catch? About a 19 incher. 19, 20 inch walleye? Yeah, it's probably a stick. Yeah. Probably. It's a nice looking stick. <laughs> Uh, how big they gotta be up there to keep? You keep one, you keep one over 15. One over 15 right now you can keep. <laughs> All right, well, you guys, I'll let you get back to fishing. Good luck to both of you. Give me a call when you get back because I need to buy some of your amazing hair jigs. Sounds good. All righty, boss. All right, good luck, guys. Have a good one, Bertie. You too, bud. All right, later. Bye. Bye. Oh, my goodness. Fish. <clears throat> oh my goodness gracious. Wow, another one that just pumping away down there. Yeah. Wow. These fish down here are a lot more. A lot more like, spunky? Yeah, compared to yesterday. Holy cow. See the weight. I see the fish. Woo wee! Nice job, buddy. Another 20, 21 mm -hmm. or so. Hair fly. Which color was that on? Purple and black. I didn't show the last one, so I'll show this one twice. <laughs> I forgot the camera was on. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Here we go, fish. You're right, they are a little spunky down here. Yeah, they are. I mean, he certainly doesn't feel like a giant by any means. Oh, you got that 72 and a half foot lead? Yep. Yep, all right. <laughs> Courtesy of you. <laughs> hey, we got her in the boat. We got her. Even with a 72 foot lead. <laughs> 72 and a half. I got it. Oh, he chopped that thing. Yeah, they're biting now. Now I feel bad. I was swearing during one of my catches. <laughs> wow, that's really in there. Yeah. Mm hmm. Definitely wasn't going nowhere, that's for sure. Come on. Come on, buddy. Why don't you show it to the camera? I'm gonna. <laughs> there we go. Nice fish. Fish. Stay button this time. Right? Oh. You tell him, Potter. Hate to have another highlight reel with all those misses. I don't know what you're talking about. What highlight reel? I haven't seen any video with a highlight reel. Like oh, that. you're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Looks like a nice fish. Yeah, he's just spunky. Yeah? I don't know. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, we'll get him. We'll get him. Look at that, both of us up on the boat. That's only a 43 foot lead, so <laughs> that one wasn't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Told you it wasn't that big, he was just spunky. All right. He oh, wasn't, isn't that big. No, 17, 18 inch yeah. maybe? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> J.A. <laughs> what? No, he's gonna yell at me. That was cold. 
probably the biggest one of the day. 22 to 23. There we go. Early. Fish. Early, Burnsy, early. Yep, early. That wasn't on camera, it was a big one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right, we to forgot to put the net. We forgot to put film in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Spunky? Spunky. Good. I don't feel like getting bonked in the head with a 17 ounce sinker. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I see oh. you, girl. Oh. Nice adjustment with the net, too. Very nice adjustment with the net. Hey, I know how to net a fish. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do with that? <laughs> Take how do you want me to grab that thing when you got Take him it. like that? <laughs> <laughs> I think he ate the fly. He ate it. What are y'all jumping for? <laughs> I, was, I don't know what you're going to do. Because I don't trust you. I wouldn't trust me neither. Right? Holy oh, Moses Malone. Definitely wasn't going nowhere, that's for sure. He ate it. Purple and black again. Yeah, we should tie rigs with two purple and black. Right? Then. Another nice fish. Beautiful fish up here. Thanks, buddy. Well, fish. Yeah. Yep. Out of pepper. They are spunky out here. Yes, they are. Holy cow. He doesn't feel that big, but he's going, going crazy. Bananas. Yeah. He's angry. Where am I? <laughs> I can't even see. <laughs> I saw the fish, it counts. <laughs> Holy cow. You gotta remember when you got a 75 foot lead, <laughs> you need to come out, you need to come closer to the boat. Not farther, Holy cow. Not farther away from the boat where I'm trying to net it. <laughs> oh, that was special. That'll be a good one. That'll be a good opener. You're gonna see on camera. Yeah. Oh, fish! <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you were swearing again, right. Potter. <laughs> Did he come off? No. Darn. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. Oh, Lord I'm have mercy. I'm telling you, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Is that cold? <laughs> see bit. there, see there, see Rod out. Oh, see? Look, way away from the motor. I'm proud of you. You do have a lot of gray in your beard, especially in the sunlight. <laughs> oh, big fish. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Of course, because Potter caught it. Oh, boy. Yep. Here we go. Here you go. Nice fish. That's a dandy. Woo. Where's the fly? <laughs> oh, that's all off it's in the off net. It's off already. Whoa. Nice fish. That's a nice 22, 20. Yeah, That's 22. A, I'd say at least. 23? Yeah. That's nice, a nice fish. Nice fish. There we go, fish. I was just looking at all of them on the screen and I'm like, one of us is going to get bit. Somebody's got to get one of those. Hey, rod out to the side, please. <laughs> I don't want to lose it in the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Little guy. All right. Come here. Got him on the old purple black right in the snoot. Right. Next time I come here, I'm tying one up with two purple and right. blacks. Right in the old snoot. 16. Yeah, nice little male. 
Oh. Uh oh. No, you don't know nothing. Mm hmm. I know what that is. <laughs> Anybody else had to fish you this much? They'd be crabby too. <laughs> oh, Lord, folks, I'm telling you. Fish. Oh, you got off. <laughs> oh. Fish. Oh. 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 oh, I might have bumped into one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait till you see that one. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I did the I tried to do the hooks that I did yesterday. It didn't work. <laughs> Now nah, we're good. Oh. Oh, fish. <clears throat> Told you we're good. <laughs> yep. Here it goes again. That's a nice fish, too. It is, too. Whew. Good net job, Burns. Thanks, buddy. Nice fish. Yep. That was on the black and red. Really? Yeah. Finally. First one in a while on that one. Mm hmm. Nice fish. Nice 19 incher. Mm hmm. Although we weren't gonna do this today, we're doing it today. Right. Pulling flies again, still two ounce weight, three way swivel. I shortened my lead up a little bit today. I know I've been joking about like 87 foot leads, but mine's about six foot. Purple and black fly, red and black fly. What pound test line do you use? I like using 10 for my flies. Um, I guess it depends on where I'm fishing. If it's up here in Green Bay, 14 pound is probably what you really want to use. Yeah, um, I would say 10 to 14 for yeah, sure. Yeah, like the Wolf River, anywhere else, I use 8 to 10 pound. Um, polymer knot, leave a nice long tag, and tie that one at the end. Complement with a six foot medium heavy. This one happens to be a razor rod, bait casting rod. And I don't know, this is my first year using the bait caster for pulling flies, but I'm kind of liking it. Makes it easy to adjust your depth. Yeah, it's a lot easier to adjust. Yep. Last year, I think in the video, I was using a spinning rod and reel, yep. and I don't know, I kind of like this. I might steal this one from Bernsey. <laughs> I would expect nothing less. <laughs> Must be nice to have batteries that last more than two hours. <laughs> there we go. I didn't miss that one. You did miss? I didn't miss that one. <laughs> that at was least, a great conversation it, we were having. In it, the... <laughs> it, at least not yet I didn't miss it. I can miss it for you. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh. Why are you letting it go over to the motor? <laughs> Put your rod tip out there. <laughs> really? I'll throw you right in. Look at him, what is he doing? I don't know. He wants to come on my side, I think. I ain't seen it yet. What the? Where is it? Oh, good thing you got a long net. Right? Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. I was on the red one too this time. Red and purple. Yep. Oh, Whoa. almost gramps. Almost <laughs> pulled the gramps. Nice fish. Just healthy, beautiful fish. Thanks, buddy. There we go. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was getting scared. 
He definitely ain't a very big one. Oh, uh, oh well. At least he wasn't acting very big. Oh no, he's a little guy. All right. Oh, you should just flip him in the boat. I don't even think that's gonna make 15. It may not. Oh yeah, he's 15. Oh, careful. Well, probably about a 15 incher, I would say. Well, bud, it was a fun couple days on the Menominee. Pulling flies, folks. It works. Get it some, works. Get some flies, especially on those days when the fish are fickle or the, when you got crazy wind pushing you around. It's an easy way for boat control. But, uh, yeah, it definitely works. It's a fun way to fish. It's really fun. Yeah. And the Winnebago system, too, it's fun, too, because then you start getting some white bass yep. mixed in. Yep. So... But anyway, you can have those 40, 50 fish days easy, right. just pulling flies, it's so much fun. But hope you guys enjoyed the video, thanks so much for watching, thanks Potter for a fun couple days hey, in the boat. Thanks for having me up. Yep, was, anytime man, it was anytime. A blast. So, click on that subscribe button, helps me out a ton, give it a thumbs up, and until next time on the water, tight lines. Woo woo, buckaroo! <laughs>